began with a poem, and I'm going to end with another great lady poet, Emily Dickinson, who said, the brain is wider than the sky, for put them side by side, the one the other will contain with ease, and you beside. The brain is deeper than the sea, for hold them blue to blue, the one the other will absorb, as sponges buckets do. The brain is just the weight of God, for heft them pound for pound, and they will differ if they do, as syllable from sound. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope I persuaded you that um, the um, subject is a fascinating one. It's at the very center of our human concern. It is what it gives us the basis on which we uh, exhibit our experience and interact with each other. I hope I've shown you also that neurobiology has at least the potential of revealing much about this subject that has remained in the past strictly just philosophical. We are not in any sense that I interpret as, as meaning of the word, we are not machines. We are the product of millennia of natural selection and a lifetime of neuronal group selection, such as to make each one of us unique in the history of the universe and significantly so in terms of our capabilities as evidenced by what we do in our lifetime. I believe that uh, if what I've said is true, every perception is to some degree an act of creation and every act of memory is to some degree an act of imagination and that is a good thing. I think there will in fact be embodiment in the future, God knows when, in which you will be able to construct a conscious artifact. No terror is implied because it will not have our phenotype and whatever consciousness it does have will not be isomorphic with ours, but I believe as we understand this structure it doesn't have to be done all inside wet flesh. Uh, when that happens, we'll have a much better reach on this otherwise difficult subject to examine and physics and biology will in a, be in a tense marriage that I think will be enormously fruitful and there will be an exciting time in this subject which is, I believe, at the center of human concern. Thank you.